Unfortunately, we had a hiatus last week, but the episode before last week, what was it? Crazy setup. Insane revelations. Back in the day, there was this thing that showed up as Kami and it decided to just kill everything and just kind of destroyed an entire cult. Now, is that Kami being um, one of the Dusters? The facial mask, at least the, the design of it, kind of reminds me of Duster, but nothing's really confirmed. And we saw a similar being in the previous, previous episode of the post credit scene when he was like killing off someone in the back alleyway. And some other stuff beyond that was basically, D is not dead, he's alive, we got baited. But our red-haired friend who gave us the, you know, flashback, after he just did an entire trauma dump, bro sacrificed his arm for us, which I think is just insane his level of dedication towards the cause of what is he trying to do he's basically trying to really just like um reform what is the the whole power ranger you know organization right along with the other girl who's part of yellow anyways let's begin today's episode wow that's okay they <laughs> the cameraman was like yeah Last week, we skipped. Yeah, so we will give you Suzukiri Dono's ass immediately. Okay, yeah, peak start. Thank you, cameraman. Suzukiri Dono. The pink and green squadron will be going to badmouth the Red Keeper? Wait, what? No, 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 no. I mean, we're gonna have an after party. So everyone shit talks red, huh? Pink and green were like, we're about to have a party. You want to show up? We want to talk shit about red. And there's, there's internal dissatisfaction. There's basically some, you know, factions infighting. This is still my headcanon, but I think that she sits on it. I think that he, like, basically. And then she sits on him and has, like, a, a whip. It <laughs> just, like, goes like this. And he probably, like... He probably like acts as a horse and starts neighing as she like whips him. One hundred percent. This is the dynamic. Big burly dude and and, and wife with like one hundred percent. She's a dominatrix. That one hundred percent happens behind the scenes, dude. You can never eat some soba ni iru. Sakura masho. Sorry. Kono ato tori tamete ta drama miru no de isogashii kara pass. Sorry. Look at the difference, bro. That's why she's Pink Ranger. That's why she is senior rank one. The absolute <laughs> distance, dude. This and like this. <laughs> Holy shit. You just want Sakurama. I don't think she's trying to climb. She's trying to tear everything down, right? And Suzukiri has to act dumb. Feign ignorance. That's right, we swapped, right? Fighter D, Ranger Force, Episode 5. Red, uh, Pink. Does he even know it's at her sister? What if he doesn't even know that Pink is his sister? Right? Wait, 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 wait. Sakurama. Cause it, it, no, 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 he should, Hibiki should have told them lore, everything, right? Because if he left out this important knowledge that, hey, by the way, Pink Ranger is my sister and he doesn't know? Yo! <laughs> also, I don't really know how his pupils is green now instead of black like before, but whatever. Tell us about the older sister. Hibiki, and then we got we didn't get to see the end of this flashback. Like what happened? Uh red? Red? Blue, blue, blue. This this is a new Blue Ranger that we know. Old Blue Ranger, sorry. I don't think this is the same Blue Ranger we know, right? Because timeline-wise, how does it make... Yeah, it's the previous, like, Blue Ranger. Yeah, yeah. wonder if the previous Ranger was also shitty. Or if it's, like, this new Ranger that's shitty. Yeah. 
Hold over to probably ranger, like keeper people, right? So we try to get like big media. They're all bought out because this is all this capitalism, right? Because like the money's got to keep going. Who pays? Follow the money, right? If having these shows makes so much for money, I bet those companies also are all bought. Therefore, even if there's no one to like, you can't ask anyone for help. Even the cops are bought out. Everyone is bought out by money because this show is what runs the fucking system. <laughs> Your older sister. Pink Keeper! Right? In order to end the war, you might have to start it, though. I mean, it's already been going on for a long time, the oppression. God? The boss. The boss. So this this is the actual bosses that fought the Keepers back in the day. Um, You can't really see shit. Right, they don't really see any design. You have like ruffles here and they got some kind of weapon here, but you don't really see the face. They're glowing though. I think, I want to believe that the person that attacked the church, that is one of the duster bosses. Hmm. No one after revenge really has an answer, right? What would you do? We'll get there when we get there. Oh, Wait, that's a pink keeper. Oh, okay, never mind. He doesn't know modern technology. He broke his laptop. On the laptop. And we lost it! No! We gotta fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we gotta fucking raw dog this. This is supposed to let us know all the intel so we're not suspicious. But now nah, we fucking broke the laptop. So here we go. We're just yoloing. It doesn't matter if the laptop's disconnected. All you gotta get is the fucking data in it. Yeah, there is some kind of like banging noises. Yeah. What is that noise? What are those? Employee cards? <laughs> Acting cocky, are we? Yeah, which one are you again? That's right. Hey, even if we don't have the intel, at least we have the employee card distribution, which kind of helps us get to know who each other are. So that guy kind of helped us uh, clutch. Yamato Kurusu. Yamato the building structure. Basement 5? Right. So we don't have a color just yet. We need to like prove ourselves. <laughs> Cap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everyone's motivation can basically be reduced to two things. Money and girls. That's pretty much it. He just wants the girls. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty dumb. <laughs> like, our reason for joining this is to basically uncover the mystery and bring down the organization. Jellica. Oh, who is this girl? Yo, these girls, though! Our cohort's looking real nice! Ren Ren. He's a bit of a chuny loner. Ooh, two different islands. Angel! Chat eyebrows. Everything he said? He's kind of fumbling. He's definitely fumbling. Perennial independent meaning he's never fucking... He's the worst of the worst. He's stuck here. He's hard stuck in fucking bronze elo. <laughs> Muscles! But so fucking... Big bro. It's Kasa Shippo. Okay, I like him. He's fun. Big muscular dude that poses. Jesus! That is your reaction? I just want to say, I know. Don't try to talk to me. Oh my. Okay, Kai. All right, Mr. Important Dude. What a piece of shit. Oh, what's up, Andrew? Sorry, uh, this is Ren Ren. <laughs> Dude, we're almost getting bullied. What the fuck? Urabe. This guy 
reminds me of that kid from My Hero Academia. Uh, the small kid with the bubbles on his head. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's basically him to me. Everyone's very jealous that, you know, he took down a monster. No, they're not! Basically, we're pushover. Right? I think this is kind of saying like... Because like, even Sakurama, he, him, Hibiki, he was kind of all, all over the place because of his childhood. I wonder how... If this is how they always treated him and he thought that they were actually nice people, that kind of speaks in volumes of what kind of person actually Hibiki is. The girls are real nice, though. What the fuck is this... Can you should be doing this with the girl. What are you doing? <laughs> At least the ball just in the view right now. Cameraman, what are you fucking doing? This is an interesting POV. Who are you? This is our sister! Because she was collapsed under the building things, right? During the flashback. Her hair color. The eye. But! Sakurama! I thought it's Pink Ranger! Why is the Pink Ranger also Sakurama then? What's going on? Why would she have the same last name? Unless we have a missing sibling? Unless that's fucking mom? No, mom's dead! Am I crazy? Did we hear that wrong? Did we misread that shit in the beginning? Sakurama, in the beginning, maybe Pink Ranger, it didn't fucking... Maybe we're crazy. Maybe the last name thing, we were all wrong and we were going off of a fucking misinformation. We were, we were cooking with the wrong recipe. We thought we were cooking curry. We were fucking blending a smoothie the entire time. Well, okay, this is the sister. <laughs> yeah, big sister. Big sis should know if there's something wrong or off with the bro though, right? Well, it was in the laptop. What the fuck is in here? What is... Do we have something stuck in here? What is in here? We had a girl in her closet? Why, why does he have a girl? Duster. Duster? He has a yandere duster girl in his closet? Her eyes is not a duster color though. It's a fighter. Yes, okay, it's a disguise, it's a disguise. And all of the surface dwellers too? Why the fuck is she in the closet and why is she fine with Hibiki? What is going on? Oh! <laughs> I, are you... You're not enjoying it, right? Why are you blushing? Why are you blushing? I think she's super into Hibiki. But like, does Hibiki like her? I don't know. Anyways, we're not Hibiki right now. What the fuck is going on? Why is he in her closet? I'm a fellow duster. Yeah. We should probably tell her that Hibiki is safe. Oh, never mind. もう長い間ようやく助けに来てくれたか。Reinforcement。オッケー。どういうことだ。グルバカ。から心強い。2対1だ。隊員を1人ずつやっていこう。ななな、チェル、チェル、チェル。いや。ごめん、ごめん、
あそれなら端末が壊れてしまっていて修理中なんだよそうだったのなおさら What, what is it, big sis? 大戦隊をやめなさい。ポエそれはポエ無縁の世界で穏やかに暮らすのよ。She's actually kind of right about that. Because, like, Hibiki, the, the, the real one, he does seem a little bit too soft. But he isn't here with good intentions. But is she really not going to be able to figure out that this is not her big brother or little brother? I don't know. I thought the family would be able to figure out immediately. <laughs> How are you? Is it? Yeah, I wonder what's in there, huh? She's actually not gonna give a fuck about what's in the closet. Even though it's been kicking the entire time. This is insane. I'm your comrade. I'm your comrade. Relax. Remnants? A remnants? Let's go back there. Hold the fuck up. There was something very interesting here that she said, right? She said something so interesting. I just came to the surface. I don't know how things work around here. Are you a remnant? Remnant is basically something of the past. So basically, a remnant is someone that's already a duster that's playing into the games and have been kind of oppressed for a long time rather than being a surface dweller. So there's... Interesting. And she hates remnants because we're forced to work the system that... You know, uh, benefits the keepers. Interesting. Because you're a traitor if you are still there not giving your life for the cause. That's the idea of remnants? Real form. Real form. Ooh. 13 years ago when the war happened and our bosses died, last of the surface dwellers. Basically, she sees them as traitors and cowards because you did not give your life to kind of go for the cause. While I, you know, put my life on the line to put down the keepers, you guys decided to kind of sign up with the keepers and put this show on. That's the idea of the remnants versus her. Hmm? <laughs> Rampage? You wanna fuck shit up, really? Okay, huh? What's in the the box? Capture her. Put the 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 waifu in the box. The closet is not enough. <laughs> Seal the waifu in the box now? now. <laughs> Because she just came out of nowhere and she was stuck in a closet the entire time. Bro shows up and is like, nah, you're gonna put it in a fucking box now? What is going on? <laughs> what about the rest of the body? <laughs> Don't worry about it, big sis. I can't believe she is not suspicious at all. I can't tell if the big sister is dumb or if the show is just intentionally making this scene so fucking ridiculous. Like, how? What do you mean? Look at the door. There's a fucking hole like someone puns through it. What's the significance of this bruised apple that keeps showing us? What kind of big sister talks to her little brother holding a knife like that? She's a little bit of a yandere. She seems to have wanting full control over her little brother. Interesting. This relationship here is very fucked up? I don't know. The sister though, she seems to be wanting full control of Hibiki. The same path as mine. Oh, the bruised apple! We're proving to our boxed wife that we're for real. And the sister, though. Even if that means having to fight me at the end. Bitch, you're in a fucking wheelchair. I'll fucking throw you off a cliff. What are you gonna do? You got... I, I don't know. They, maybe she's OP. She, there was a little bit of the dust there. Don't worry about it. I think the dust there in the apple scene is not significant. I don't know. But, like, what is she gonna do? Is she, is she super... Is she super strong? Yes! I fucking saw the dust! It was just a visual effect to see the cuts! I don't think it matters! Focus on pushing her off the fucking wheelchair! 
弟殿との再会はいかがでしたかなピッウェイパッウィッソーインデビギニングウォーレッサクラマピンクピクシスターアンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデンデ Oh my fucking brain. What in the fuck? How, how did this work? I spoiled myself. I unspoiled myself. I spoiled myself. What? I did today's re this episode reaction is fucked. This is actually like fucked. We even had to stop in the middle because I had on call from work. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> あの日お前たちだけに戦わせてしまう。Right, she's the box, guys. だから、Our wife was out of the box again. Back in the closet, though. つもりはない。勝手にやってる。そうかよ。一つ聞かせてくれ。He's alive. For now, at least. あんな細そうそう死なねえよ。What is the significance of this bruised apple? ちょっとだけ飲み。Ew! Please don't touch me. Don't touch. That's music to my. That, you think that is romantic? You think that's a line that's gonna work on a girl? What the fuck? Pink. Pink Keeper! Henshin! Oh, yo. How the fuck is she working like this? Like, she's supposed to be in a wheelchair. But, like, I guess the Henshin is this form. When she's not henshin, she's like in a wheelchair, but with this suit, she can basically walk around. <laughs> thank you, cameraman. Thank you, thank you, getting all the important frames. Oh! I thought she was just a pretty face! What happened to them? Are they all in the fucking playground? Thing? She fucked them up off screen, off screen. Okay, but it's not your big bro. It's little bro. You know that, right? I guess even girls are just as likely to surprise you as boys do, but I'm, I'm surprised at how she's happy and almost moaning. I think this is a bro con, right? It's a, but you would think that a, a bro con like her would be able to figure out if it's, you know, a little bro or not, but I guess. She was craving Hibiki to have some level of defiance and step up for himself that when D did this, he's like, all right, let's fucking go. <laughs> she moaning at the moon! And that's today's episode. Today's reaction was so fucked up because in the beginning, I don't think that we were supposed to know that Sakurama, her, her last name was Sakurama, but someone was like, but she, someone says Sakurama here and we're like, wait, is she the fucking sister? He making Sakurama? But then it's like, no, no, she's in a fucking wheelchair. It, it can't be, you know, Pink Keeper. But it's like, no, she is Pink Keeper. We all over the place. We got basically plot important stuff is we've infiltrated because the deal is kind of we swap places with Hibiki, right? So now we can basically go in, get to know all the different cohorts and understand the structure and basically try to overthrow the organization from within. One of the crazy shit is for some reason Hibiki has a, a duster, a fighter in his room that's stuck in a the closet. They seem to really like each other, the real Hibiki anyway. So he must have somehow shown her that not every surface dweller is evil and they have some kind of deal for her to stick around. I don't know. This girl, what a fucking wrench in the story. Pink Keeper uh, started moaning at the moon while saying Hibiki, so she, uh, and, and there's also a heart in the moon, I just realized. Look at the moon, there's a heart imprint. <laughs> the, the big sister is super, super down for her. <laughs> her little bro, but um, the story, again, the plot just keeps getting thicker and thicker. I guess the only way, the explanation of why um, Pink Keeper is in a wheelchair because she got injured in the flashback, right? She got crushed by the rubbles, but she can basically move all she wants and keep her form is just the transformation, right? So something about the henshin obviously uh, makes them stronger and makes them more able-bodied. I don't know, but the story, it's getting more interesting. And it's proving that this show is probably one of the best shows, new weekly shows in this season. But that's it for me, if you're still here. If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.